Archer Dreamland is coming out on April 5th, and to celebrate that, FXX, which is the new network for an Archer, is releasing a bunch of promos and teasers. Right now there are six short promos and one full teaser, and it's teaching us a few different things that we can expect for this season. I'm going to start off with the most obvious, Archer Dreamland is the official name, not Noir, as we had theorized it would be. So this is all taking place after Archer was shot down at the end of season seven. Supposedly he's in a coma and this is all a coma fantasy. So yes, they will be new harding this and probably at the end we'll come back, he'll wake up and we'll go back to the normal uh, setup. But we're gonna go on this delusion to 1947 detective Noir for now. It could be fun. I will say Vice was my least favorite season but maybe I'm, I'm keeping an open mind at least. I also want to point out that FXX is the new network, or new, it's still on the Fox superlative movie extra channel family, um, and this is where it will remain for its final three seasons. Sadly, I said final, happily, I said three. So what you can pick up from what we are learning from uh, both Adam Reed and these uh, teasers are a few different things. Um, one, Cheryl looks like she's taking a uh, big part in this. You may remember during Vice, Pam took a big part and I didn't love it because it kind of changed what I love about Pam, but Cheryl looks like she's up to her normal antics, which is good. She's playing kind of a femme fatale archetype for this season at least, and looks to be, I would say, in one of the leading roles. Uh, Lana is also sort of a femme fatale, but she seems more like a lounge singer and maybe a comedian because she spins a joke, which is, uh, the irony was not lost on me as someone who's watched Aisha Tyler do stand-up before. Pam is playing Poovy, Archer's new partner, as he's served the, uh, he's trying to solve the case of who killed Woodhouse, his old partner. I think they're just going to be addressing the death of the actor of Woodhouse and the disappearance of the character over the last season instead of just kind of dismissing it, which I like. I like that they're doing this because it seems like it's honoring uh, the person and the character there. Mallory has been described in some publications as being a mobster. She seems to be more of the head of the Archer Detective Agency, judging from the teasers. I say, why not both? She could easily transfer from one to the other, I think. It's not really clear what Cyril is doing. He's either a rival detective or he has a rival detective agency. Maybe it's the Cyril Figgis detective agency. Maybe he'll have a Basset Hound. Who knows at this point? And Barry is around. Is he a human in this? Maybe, because what we're looking at here is all of this going on in Archer's brain. And in this, he's also re-meeting every single character again. Uh, so he doesn't start off knowing them like we started off the entire series of him knowing them. Uh, and I think this will lead some insight into what he thinks of each character, which I don't know if it'll work from a narrative point of view, if they'll go the route of what is true to the character or what is um, his idea of who the character is, which could be fun for part of the time, but not the full time. Oh, and um, Ray is in the musician quartet for Lana, and he wants a marijuana cigarette, and then he ends up in jail. I don't know how involved he'll be with the detective agency. Maybe he'll be taking a back seat. It looks like Pam is serving like as a supporting role, um, unlike before, and Archer is back to womanizing. So that'll be fun for this season. I do think Lana will end up being endgame, as she usually is. Audience, what do you think is happening for Archer Dreamland, aka season eight? We will find out for sure on April 5th, but until then, we have lots of promos to look over and really, really anticipate this season opener. Let me know your thoughts below in the comments, and please like and subscribe for more.